joined by the representatives from New Orleans uh, men's basketball. And again, I'm going to ask Coach Schlesinger for an opening comment, and then we'll uh, go to questions. Yeah, great. Uh, first off, congratulations uh, to Northwestern State and coaching staff on, uh, on, a, on, on a great game and a, a victory. And then uh, thank you to the South, the South and Conference for all the work that you guys have done to put on uh, a great tournament uh, in, a, in a very difficult environment. Uh, but for, first and foremost, before we talk about the game, I want to tell, uh, mention how much I thank our student athletes for their effort this season. Um, this is uh, obviously a once in a hundred year uh, event for everybody, but the, the impact that it's had on our student athletes uh, on and off the floor uh, in the work that they've done and how they've uh, reacted and how they've worked to, uh, to put their teammates first and make extreme sacrifices. I can't say how enough how grateful I am uh, for them, our medical staff, uh, our Oshner Sports Medical Team, our administration uh, with Ms. Dina and Mr. Tim, uh, and our president, Dr. Necro, and just everybody involved in our university. Uh, we are very, very proud to come and represent uh, our university, our faculty, our students, our staff, and our uh, city that we love. Um, this did not finish the way that we want, uh, but we we're very, very proud um, of how we were able to finish the season and, and get back on track and play uh, the way that we knew we were capable of. Uh, tonight's game, we dug ourselves a big hole to start. Uh, uncharacteristically slow start for our team uh, to come out shooting. I think at, at the one uh, break, we were one for 13. And just extremely uncharacteristic. We hadn't had a game like that since, you know, maybe going back to November. Uh, so the, the team, it was very uncharacteristic for us to do that. Uh, but they continued to problem solve. They continued to work. Uh, we continued to fight to get back in the game, to take the lead back in the second half. Uh, but we just weren't able to, to, to put together stops and baskets enough to overtake the lead and build a lead uh, enough to win the game. Uh, but uh, really, really proud of our of our effort and how big the guts that we played with tonight, uh, for sure. Thank you. This time I'd like to open uh, it up for questions. If you have a question, please uh, either put it in the chat or raise your hand. I'm going to go to Brandon first, please. Uh, no problem. Well, question to go to both players. Uh, just talk about the fact that, you know, how you guys were able to just stay in it after the slow start. Uh, you guys were able to take the lead momentarily and you stayed in it all the way to the very end. Okay. Amy, can we start? Well, I mean, we knew this could be our last game um, of the season, so we didn't want it to end. Just We couldn't just lay down and just let them blow us out. We know we had to give it our all because we didn't want it to be our last. So we just stuck with uh, what was working and um, we just kept going hard because like that's just what you got to do when you're in a conference tournament. You know, you don't know if it's, if it's your last game or not. So you can't just lay down unless that's the type of team you are. And we instill hard work and toughness and how tough are you. And so that just shows how tough we are to keep fighting. Well, anything? Yeah. Like Dame said, um, we, we've been through adversity the whole season. So, I mean, coach always tells us to stay together. We always just try to stay as tight as we can. But even even when we do start start slow, that's not our first time starting slow. We always come back because we work so hard. Next question is from John. John, you may unmute your line. Thanks, Matty. Uh, question for any of you three. Um, just wanted to figure out how the season changed. Three weeks ago, you guys were four and thirteen overall, coming off of a double-digit home loss to SFA. And then you win six of your final eight with only an overtime loss and tonight's three-point loss. I was curious, um, was there any big change or did you guys finally just start clicking or something else? Um, I say yesterday, um, we came together, talked about how we want our season to go and, and mainly what is our mental focus. So we knew we had to lock in because we didn't like where we were in the standings. And in order to move up the stands, you got to win games. So we told us, we, we talked as a team, we said we got to win so we can move up. Because we knew how, how, how it is in Katy. The lower seed you are, the more games you want to play. And believe it or not, people get tired. So we said we got to work now so we don't have to work as hard as when, when we get to Katy. But we just stayed, we just stayed focused, stayed together, kept just playing how we know how to play. You want to add to that, Coach, after you Yeah, I, I mean, we came out of that that break, and uh, I thought the guys had um, really made some great strides with their mental preparation. And we knew that we were going to be in a tough stretch where we had 
uh, six games in 12 days uh, to come back off the break. We had the first game against uh, Stephen at Boston, played very, very well uh, in that game. It was a tough loss at home, but we also had a week there uh, to kind of get back to basics, and we got back uh, to a lot of the things that we needed to do prep-wise uh, for those two weeks leading up to it, and we're able to get a ton of work. I think the run for that uh, that the last six games of the, of the season was earned in that week leading up to it because it was a tough week of, back of practice, but we got a lot of work done and really made some big strides. We have time for one more question. Uh, Darcy? I apologize if I'm... It's okay. DRC with the Garage Department Media. A uh, question for Coach. Um, it was a great comeback. Just came up a little bit short. Just uh, wanted you to speak on a little bit of what you, what that taught you a little bit about your team and their uh, chemistry and how everything is um, going to go for next year coming in. I, I, I can't be more proud of, of how we finished this year and the effort that they gave and the strides that we made as a team. Uh, it was it was something that we worked for uh, throughout the year. We kind of changed our style of play, uh, played at a much higher tempo uh, based on our personnel, the things we had. I think they uh, were able to pick that up and, and move. Uh, going forward, uh, our expectation uh, when you put the University of New Orleans is always to be in the hunt for championships. And uh, we've been very lucky um, in our tenure to be in that hunt quite a bit. And so we will get back to the same uh, standard of work uh, day in and day out that we do and continue to work and get better and make strides and, and push towards that goal again.